Now, Spring Watch is back and we start with news of a two and a half million pound wildlife project. Our environment correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, joins us now from beside the banks of the River Tame in Warwickshire. Uh, you're in there somewhere, David. Thank you very much, Mary. Yes, we are at Kingsbury Water Park, which is sort of very roughly halfway between Birmingham and Tamworth. And River Tame is just over there, and this is all part of the Tame Valley itself. Now, this is an area that's hugely popular with dog walkers and cyclists, but also with wildlife. And now it's going to be part of this multi-million pound Tame Valley restoration project. This hidden river valley of the Midlands is getting a multi-million pound makeover. Wandering along the Tame, you'll spot plenty of wildlife, which is amazing. Because the Tame, like many of our rivers, is a hostile habitat these days. And that's all down to us. Over the last century, really, the, the whole river Tame and, and many rivers across the country have seen a lot of, um, of man-made features put into them. So this river has been straightened and the banks steepened, uh, really to try and get water from one place to the other as fast as possible, thinking that's the best way to deal with flooding. Um, actually, what we're trying to do is um, start to slow the flow down in areas just to hold water back, try and clean up water, um, and that will end up reducing flooding further downstream. Reduced flooding is just one benefit of this new project, covering 104 square kilometres, stretching from Birmingham to Tamworth, North Warwickshire to South East Staffordshire. And at its heart is the River Tame, knocked about by people and industry, but now being returned to a more natural state. It will be a huge task, but right across the Midlands, after drought, then flood, all our waterways need a little bit of love. Here in Worcestershire, Lye Brook has seen plenty of extreme weather and it's meant running repairs for the local wildlife trust, but their hard work is paying off. We've had dipper nesting um, for the first time in over 10 years. We've got grey wagtail, we've got healthy otter population. And last year we had a, a good reliable sighting of a salmon trying to leap the weir, which is the first time in, in many years. So it's, yeah, you know, we're seeing signs of improvement. The Lye Brook shows what can be achieved, but the restoration of the Tame Valley will easily be the biggest project of its kind in the Midlands. And it's not just about flooding or even helping wildlife. Now, the River Tame is not the only water involved in this project. There are canals as well. And for example, as part of all this, uh, this footbridge, which is over 200 years old, will be restored by the Canals and River Trust. This is just the start. Back on the banks of the Tame, some waterlogged football pitches are set to be radically transformed. We're going to put some reed beds into there, let people walk through it, explore wetlands in the flesh and also put in a bit of a viewing platform um, with a San Martin bank underneath it. So an artificial bank that hopefully they will inhabit themselves. They're even aiming at creating jobs as part of the scheme. Helping wildlife isn't just for the birds. Now, a little bit earlier here at Kingsbury Water Park in the Tame Valley, we were lucky enough to meet some of the newest arrivals here in the Tame Valley, five adorable baby barn owl chicks. Stefan Bodner has ringed hundreds of barn owl chicks here in the Tame Valley over the past decade, but last year was the worst year on record. Hardly any chicks were born here. This year though, in this box at least, things are looking up. This is the biggest one. Five chicks, perhaps slightly small, but otherwise looking healthy. But where are mum and dad? The parents are probably in one of the other boxes here. Um, and the reason is once the, once the chicks start growing, it gets pretty crowded in there, it gets pretty smelly, uh, and, they, and they shift the off to another box, and they just, uh, they just sit there during the, during the day, they'll roost up. And then they'll come back and they'll provision the young later in the, in the evening or sometimes in the middle of the night. And just as Stefan said, we find the parents in a nearby box looking in good health, Hopefully this year, barn owl numbers will start to recover. Now we're going to have a lot more on barn owls later in the week as part of Spring Watch and explaining how they're trying to make their way back after the terrible year last year and what you can do to help. Now on my blog at bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory Kumar, you'll find much more about the Tame Valley project, what's going to happen and how you can get involved. Tomorrow, Mary, adders. Oh, we'll look forward to that. David, thanks very much.